Now notice what he's trying to show. God has many sons. Keep that in mind by the grace and mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. God has many sons. But in so doing, he ends up destroying the Quran and exposing Muhammad as a satanic fraud. Keep that in mind. If we go through the Bible, the book of Palms, the book of Palms, the book of Palms, in the book Palms 2. You know what? I learned something from this man. I did not know that God had revealed the book of Palms. Did you guys know that? I just learned something from him. God revealed the book of Palms along with the book of Psalms. I really am thankful for this man. I did not know there was extra revelation that he discovered, inspired by God, called the Book of Palms. I knew about Psalms, but I didn't know about Palms. Next, we're going to learn that God also inspired the Book of Heels, the Book of Shins, the Book of Toes, the Book of Fingers, the Book of Nostrils, and then, to my shock and surprise, he's going to discover and reveal for the first time God inspired the book of nose hairs and follicles. Amazing. What would Christianity do without Uthman Farouk? Yeah, armpits too, yeah. What would Christianity do without Uthman Farouk informing us that God revealed the book of Palms along with Psalms? Keep that in mind. So is David also the begotten son of God? Now he's asking the question rhetorically. Are they his sons too? Yeah. Here, here's where I think this man really has serious comprehension issues. If not, this being a clear example of him also being demonized like his prophet. If the Bible says Solomon is God's son, if the Bible says Israel, the nation, is God's firstborn son, if the Bible says Ephraim, <clears throat> the northern kingdom, because Israel broke, broke into two nations, the southern kingdom, the northern kingdom, Ephraim was the capital of Israel, Jerusalem was the capital of Judah. If the Bible says Ephraim is God's firstborn, if the Bible says David is God's begotten son, then of course these are all sons and daughters of the living God. But he's asking the question, expecting a negative response. Is Solomon God's son too? And the answer, no. Hello, of course he is. But anyway. Son is referred to as a term of endearment. He says the term son is a term of endearment, that you have a close connection, relationship to God. And father's a term of respect because he just destroyed his own religion and he shows he's smarter than his own prophet and more knowledgeable than his God. Watch. He just proved Muhammad is a false prophet and all of the Quran is a false God. Do you know why? Write down the following verses. Write down Surah Al-Maidah, chapter 5, verse 18 of the Quran. Chapter 5, verse 18. Write that down. Write down Surah Al-Tawbah, chapter 9, verse 30 of the Quran. Chapter 9, verse 30 of the Quran. Write down chapter 19 of the Quran, verses 88 to 93. Chapter 19 of the Quran, verses 88 to 93. Write down chapter 39, verse 4. Chapter 39, verse 4 of the Quran. Write down chapter 72, verse 3. Chapter 39, verse 4, chapter 72, verse 3, and as well as chapter 6, verse 101. But the one passage... The one passage I want to focus on is chapter 5, verse 18. Why? Chapter 5, verse 18 of the Quran says that the Jews and Christians at the time of Muhammad, the Jews and Christians at the time of Muhammad, told Muhammad, we are the sons of Allah and his beloved. Notice how they're defining the term as a term of endearment. We are his children, his beloved. We are his children, his beloved. What did Muhammad say? If you were his children, why does he punish you for your sins? No, you are mortals that he has created. Muhammad rejected any notion of his God being a spiritual father and rejected the term sonship as a legitimate term signifying 
endearment. In other words, Muhammad would not allow even the term son to be applied for a Muslim's relationship to Allah because as far as Muhammad is concerned, these terms are erroneous, should not be employed because you're not a child of God spiritually, metaphorically, and therefore you cannot use these terms even if it's simply to show close connection and affinity with his God. So he just proved Muhammad is not a true prophet like the prophets of the Old Testament. And he just proved that Muhammad did not proclaim the same God revealed in Jesus and worshipped by his followers because the God revealed in Jesus and the God of the prophets is a spiritual father to his people and they are his spiritual sons and daughters, all of which Muhammad rejected saying, no, Allah is not a father spiritually, metaphorically. You can't call him a father even as a title respect and you're not his sons and daughters spiritually, metaphorically because my God will not allow you to use that term as a term of endearment all you are are his slaves, and all he is is your master. No more, no less. Stop using these terms. By his own words, you will condemn him. By his own words, you will expose him. By his own words, you will use them, turn them against him to prove that Allah and his messenger are frauds, are fake. Muhammad is a false prophet by the power of the Holy Spirit.